Okay, hello, hello everyone. I'm your host for tonight. Fiona has been our tech support. Um, so we're finally ready to go. If you haven't uh, downloaded the Top Hat quiz, um, we've just got a little slide in here. If I, yep, there we go. So on your smartphone, search Top Hat in the art store. Search History of Art Society in app. The professor should be Fiona Gray and <laughs> click enroll. That will give you that will give you all of our round um, our rounds yeah, and we'll we'll take it a round at a time and you just enter your questions in there. It's all very yeah, clear I mean, once you get to it. We've just started the first round. So, so we've just started the first round. Yet. Don't answer them yet. We'll have Izzy come on and do the first round. Thanks very much for bearing with us and off we go. <laughs> okay, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, spooky. Okay, <laughs> I'm being instructed to look in the right place. Hi everyone, I'm Izzy. I'm going to be running our first round. Okay, so this is a pop culture and art round. That's Lady Gaga reference in the first page, if anyone can see that. Good stuff. Okay, um, should I be like thumbs up? Are we good? Yeah, Caroline, Let's how do we for. sound? We look good? good. Okay, we're going to go. Okay, grand. So, first question is, so we've got an album cover here, and the question is, which American contemporary artist produced the sculpture for Lady Gaga's art pop album cover? So that is question number one. Yeah. And if, you, if your top hat's not working, put a question in the Zoom. Yeah. I think we can go to the next question. Okay. Is everyone using it? We good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the YouTube will have a live, but it's fine. So, like, go to answer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And question two. So, here we are. So, which iconic 90s uh, TV series created by David Lynch could the music video for um, WAP have taken the set inspo from? <laughs> maybe, maybe not, but we think so. <laughs> Them. Yeah, sure. Okay. Trying to gauge the speed. Okay, question three. Which American um, artist and social act activist is Rihanna referencing in her music video for Rude Boy? So like in her costume in the background and stuff. Okay. Number four. Am I too fast or are we good? Fast, slow, slow, fast, no? No, no we'll, nods? I think we'll go. We'll wait at the end of the round. Okay, and I'll ask if anyone wants me to repeat. Okay, so number five, which American director uh, is referenced in the lyrics of Lady Gaga's Bad Romance? And so there's like three movies referenced here in the clips I've put on, so. <laughs> Get up for Izzy, woo! I can't cope. <laughs> Okay. I know this is surreal with like zero. Feedback. It is. It is. It is surreal. <laughs> I can't see if like I can't see if you guys can see the questions or if we get any answers we're, we're, or we're, we're, we're just we're just rolling. Okay. 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 Question number five: uh, Which 1927 German science fiction drama film um, is Janelle Monae's album cover Arc Android and Lady Gaga's Applause music video still both visually referencing? Very greasy. And question number six. Which Swiss video artist is Beyonce emulating in the sequence of her music video for Hold Up from her album Lemonade in 2016? Yeah, that is hard, but it is hard. It's an iconic, iconic movement. We'll see in the answers that will be, um, yeah. That is a hard one. Okay. Question number seven. Uh, which Japanese artist is Nicki Minaj alluding to in the set of her music video for Boys in 2012? 
So big polka dot set. Little clue, she was meant to have a, a big exhibition at the Tate Modern, I think. And then, oh, George is shrugging its shoulders. We don't know, do we? We don't know. <laughs> no, she wasn't. No one, no, nothing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is a hard one, guys, but cool artist. Um, okay, so which Ukrainian-American avant-garde filmmaker was Janelle Monet paying homage to in her video for Tightrope? Great song, really good track. She's an amazing live on Jonathan Ross. No, just looking, I'm just doing a tangent now, but there we go. No, you're welcome. Yeah, <laughs> that was gorgeous. People should watch that. It was on Christine and the Queen's Top Picks. That was like a good lockdown TV filler. It was everyone, um, he interviewed a couple people um, and they picked, they went through the archives and picked their like top bits and that. And uh, Tightrope was one of them. It was a good performance. Okay. Okay. And question number nine. Which American uh, conceptual artist and collages is being referenced in um, Miley Cyrus's We Can't Stop music video? George, you also, that one was a bit hard. I don't know, give a clue. I think yeah. I think so. No clue. Okay. Okay. She's known for like snappy slogans mm -hmm. and Supreme. either Obey, 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 Obey or Supreme um, was accused of like stealing her style signature look uh, for their t-shirts and stuff later on. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No worries. That's fine. I can always go back, you guys, as well, if I'm racing through. I knew there was going to be a delay with yeah. the with the YouTube and that, so. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going, okay. Okay. Just maybe, like, pause the first one. Okay. Pause. <laughs> Any feedback? Should I be moving on? Or? I think you can just, like, chat about the artist. That's maybe fun. Like, okay. You know, the Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry, no. <laughs> I think that's yeah, you can go to the next one. Okay, okay. I've got some nods from around the room. Okay. Oh, I've missed the question 10. Did my question 10 on. Hmm. Oh, I added that in. Excellent. Okay. Well, we've got question 11. Should be question 10, but if it's after that, that's also fine. Um, oh, we're grand. We're grand. Okay. It's just the question. We're vibing. Okay, so this is an, um, a light artist called James Turrell, and he he was an inspiration for um, like a viral music video from the summer of 2015. There's lots of memes made about it, but that's the artist that inspired it as well, so. Is that on the- uh, Canadian artist. <laughs> We're good. Just give a verbal confirmation around the room to like move on because I've got. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. oh wait, no, sorry, this is fine. This is what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I think yeah. we're all good. Okay, I'm going for the final question for this round. If it'll come up. Oh, that's the answers. The answers is okay. Oh, don't put any answers yet. Back, back, back. Back up. <laughs> yeah. Um. Could we? Could you run through the questions really quickly again? Just yeah. So Got them. Yeah, one hundred percent. And you guys just like shout at me in the room yeah. if there's if you're seeing the comments and someone is wants one specific one and read then, through. And then once and everybody once you have answered all the questions, just put hand in test. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go through questions again, I think. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go back through. So just to repeat, we got question number one. Um who's the artist that made the sculpture like the blue orb um for the lady gaga's art pop album cover yeah yeah i think we can go through this. okay and quickly number two recap uh which 90s tv series created by david lynch is wap taking the um inspo for for like the set in here so like specifically like the, the zigzaggy floors and the drapes and the statue bus as well actually well we think okay and quickly recap question number three 
uh, which American artist and activist is Rihanna uh, emulating in this still from Rude Boy, like illustrative style. Quickly, number four, um, Lady Gaga by Romance, which, which films film director is being referenced in her in the lyrics of Bar Romance? Sorry. There is no question 10. Sorry guys, we had, um, there is like, this says 11, there's just 10 questions in the round. So we just, I just made a typo. There might be an extra one on the top hat, just answer it. Yeah, just have a guess. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was, I actually think I remember the question, what question 10 was, I can just read that out if you want. Yeah, go for it. No, no bother, yay, yeah, nay. Just do it. Yes, no. Read it out. Okay. Well, it was an American pop artist, and uh, oh, I can't see without the visuals, but it was, um, it's still, that's just too hard. It was a still from Applause again, and it was Lady Gaga with like a peroxide, like a yellow blonde wig, and then it was a still from uh, Rude Boy, and it was like painted lips, and it was, uh, yeah, American pop artist, which one? Okay, but anyway, question five. Uh, two artists, Jean Monet and Lady Gaga, you can see the slide, Who? which film are they referencing? in that and then number six this is a hard one um it's a swiss video artist really really cool um who is she emulating and it's in the pose and what she's wearing and like what she's hitting it's from a video art piece really cool okay and quick recap number seven which japanese artist is which artist is Nicki minaj emulating in this japanese artist and quickly number eight uh which who is um janelle monet taken it spoke from for this it's an avant-garde short film and again hard one apparently but um Miley Cyrus we can't stop who is taking it spoke from American conceptual artist and a collagist and finally number question 11 which should be question 10 <laughs> I don't know we just lost the slides lost in the ether um what's the viral music video that took in spoke from this light artist didn't actually collaborate with him but um Rude. I know, rude, but yeah. Just tell them to hand it in. Yeah, everyone hand that in on top hat. Like, if you've answered the questions, just say, like, submit, hand in. Hand oh, in. Yeah. That's that from me. I'm going to go for the answers. It's just okay. quiz, quiz Wait, Master second. George. Wait a second. <laughs> okay, so are people handing it in? Let's go back to top hat. Uh, have people handed it in? Okay. Okay. Uh, we're gonna end the test. So if you haven't handed it in, do it right now, or else you get detention. That's ten. from the voice of God. Okay. Hand in your test if you ten. handed it in. Ten, nine. Okay, whatever. We're handed in. Please, thank you. Okay. We're gonna end the test. Oh shit. <laughs> and now we're gonna hand back the test so you can see your grades. The grades don't matter. There's no prize, by the way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the tenth slide that's missing. That's the prize. People, have people received their answers, like their grades? Can someone write in the chat if they've received their grades? Yeah, we're in the Zoom. Yeah, it's I, uploading. Everything's... Yeah, I got mine back. Yeah. Okay, cool. Should I paper? So yeah, let's start doing the answers. Okay. Are you doing answers? You do the answers. Okay, I'm going. I'm doing the answers. Sorry. Okay, that's time. You should get your answers, but for number one, for Lady Gaga, it was Jeff Koons. A little bit of info about him there, and you can see his sculpture. That's the answer to question one, Jeff Koons. And answer to question two about WAP, it is Twin Peaks. I think that was I was great, great TV show. You great TV watch. show. It's on Now TV. You can get a free trial. It's free for seven days. Fiona says watch season one, no bother with season two. Apparently, it's much better. <laughs> they they solved the mystery, and there's nowhere else to go. But um, visually quite iconic, lots of, um, you know, song and film references for that. Um, just, yeah. Keep going. Okay. Uh, answer to two, question three. That was the Rihanna uh, Rude Boy music video. That was Keith Haring. So like the, you know, illustrative black and white style and the set and the costume. A little bit of a bio about him there as well. New York based artist. Did I have AIDS? All well, sad. But yeah, artist on such artists as well. Um, answer to question number four, that's Alfred Hitchcock. So that was like Psycho, Rear Window and Vertigo. 
good film as well. Nice, beautiful posters for them as well. Okay, answer to question five is Metropolis. That's a 1927 film, uh, like Dermont Am Garde. Very iconic. He sent Janelle Monet's album out. It's a cool one to point out. You can tell your friends that now when you see it or listen to it. And this is the answer to question number six. That was a hard one, but the artist is called um, Pippi Lottie Wrist, and it is a piece called Ever Is All Over. This is a still from that video art piece, and you can see how she's like copied the costume and the pose and whatever she's doing in there. Well, she's bashing a windscreen of a car, but um, cool lady. Answer to question seven. Again, just interject if I'm going too fast or no, what have you. Okay, answer to question seven is uh, Yayoi Kusama. Um, we have, like fame for her Infinity Rooms, Polka Dot Queen. Um, yeah, there's a really good biopic that came out about her quite recently, actually. I recommend everyone watching that. Maybe it's a movie or something. Probably a movie or Curls on Host at Home Cinema. It's like following her and chatting about how she had all ideas stolen from her and Clay's Oldenburg and uh, it's like Andy Warhol as well. We copied his uh, wallpaper uh, room of artworks from her. She did it first with like a picture of a soft sculpture of a boat. She had like a whole room of like, yeah, repeat imagery. And uh, yes, undercut. Okay, this is a hard one. I'm on question seven now. Seven or eight? Eight, seven, who knows? It was the it was the tightrope, you know money tightrope, that music video. And uh, this is an artist called Maya uh, Duran. And it's uh, called Meshes of Afternoon. It was like a still she made with her partner, I think, at the time from 1943. And uh, you can see there she's like uh, taken the like visual imagery of like the the mirrored faces and the hooded people. But um, it's really cool. I'm pretty sure you can just watch it on YouTube or Daily Motion, like it's a cool piece. And the next answer is Barbara Kruger. So I thought that was pretty obvious for like the covering of the eyes and the text, but um, but maybe not. But I should have picked a different one maybe, but um, she's famous for like, you know, the sh if I shop for there before I am, or I put that wrong. Okay. But um, right. I'm getting nods, I'm getting nods. <laughs> okay, and the final answer is Drake Courtland Blaine. And, and question yeah. 10, the answer is Andy Warhol. Yeah, question 10, the, uh, 10, the answer is Andy Warhol. Yeah, by, was on top hat, by the top way, hat. the quiz is for some reason out of seven on Top Hat. That's just Top Hat being weird. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't matter how many points you got. It matters that you have fun. Top Hat is also currently still not doing that great, which is very strange because it's like the simple... Oh, ABC hurrah. Well, <laughs> let's give it up for Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Learn some cool new facts. Thanks Thank for having you. me, guys. Thanks for watching me read off the screen. Love it. <laughs> All right. So that was round one with Izzy. That was fantastic. I'm a big fan of Maya Darren. I'm a big fan of Twin Peaks, so I'm into it. This is my round. This is they did that weird slash iconic moments in artists' careers. Um, I should just give a quick trigger warning that there is some mention of self-harm in this round. Um, so, sorry, okay, we're ready to go. So, are, are we ready to go? The test should appear on Top Hat now. Oh, I see. Yes, yeah, sorry, I forgot about Top Hat. I like pen and paper. All right, <laughs> okay, let's go. So, question number one Which artist cut their ear off before handing it to a lady as a gift? Was it the post impressionist Van Gogh? Was it body-based performance artist Orlan, or was it 16th century painter and murderer Caravaggio? <laughs> and um, the image that you see there is actually the person in question's ear, um, uh, taken from a DNA sample and 3D printed. I think they did that a few years ago. I think if you think of artists that cut their ear off, I think you probably know this. Um, moving on. Which Mexican communist artist dressed as a man in her youth? Is it A, Frida Kahlo, B, Karl Marx, or C, Rosa Luxemburg? I didn't know Karl Marx made art. <laughs> <laughs> he was esteemed, he was an RA. <laughs> What do you mean you didn't know he made art? He wrote Das Kapital. 
<laughs> yes, okay, moving on. When asked to create something for the Shogun, which artist rolled out a sheet of paper, painted it blue, dipped a chicken in orange paint, and let the chicken walk, walk all over it? The artist described the piece as the Tatsuta River with maple leaves floating on it. And I swear to God, this is true. Was it no. <laughs> I it, do that. Was it A, graffiti yeah. artist Banksy, B, German conceptual artist Joseph Beuys, or C, 19th century Japanese printer Hokusai? And I'm just going to have a quick drink. I unfortunately couldn't find the image that uh, the artist produced for this, but I'd be very interested to find it. Maybe that should be my dissertation. Okay, so when informed it was unladylike to walk in muddy fields to paint animals, which woman artist petitioned for French government to allow her to wear men's trousers and succeeded? Was it A, 19th century romanticist Rosa Bonheur? 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 Your friend. <laughs> um, 20th or 21st, 20th slash 21st century performance artist Marina Abramovich, or C, 20th century Russian ballet dancer Anna Pavlova, who had a meringue named after her. Ooh. That's true. Oh, yeah, you know Pavlova's with wow. the whipped cream and the raspberries. Is it named after her, or is it just like the same name? I think it's named after her. I think. I, I just said it's true. It's true. Did you know <laughs> Aren't we all? Um, next question. Frank Bowling, born in 1934, emigrated to the UK in 1953. He became the first Royal Academician, which is hard to say after a few drinks. In what year did he receive this prestigious accolade? Becoming an RA is the highest title you can get in Britain if you're an artist. It's uh, bestowed by the royal family. <laughs> yes, and it's not your resident advisor. It's a wonderful painting by Frank Bowling, just there. Okay, question number six. Which surrealist travelled from the south of Spain to Paris in a Rolls Royce filled with cauliflowers? Was it A, Leonardo da Vinci, B, Andy Warhol, or C, Salvador Dali. <laughs> okay, question number seven. In 2017, which artist removed this painting, Hylas and the Nymphs, from the walls of Manchester Art Gallery and presented a series of drag performances in its place? Was it A, painter Sonia Boyce, B, painter Mona Hatoum, or C, drag artist Kim Chi? This is a harder one. Mm, yes, this is a slightly harder one. It, it made a lot of headline news and made a lot of um, people quite angry. I that's more of an actual reason. Yeah, I was thinking, what is this? Okay, um, next question. In 1988, which artist couple walked the length of China's Great Wall for 90 days, meeting in the middle to end their relationship? Wow. Was it A, performance artists Marina Abramovich and Ule, B, Pablo Picasso and his first wife, emphasis on first, Olga Kuklova, or C, musician Paul and designer Stella McCartney? I think initially they planned to marry, but it took them so long to actually get permission to do this. By the end, it was they divorced oh, wow. <laughs> or split up. I, I should watch say. That, like, dramatization. You can watch the actual thing. They made a film, <laughs> a documentary. Okay, question number nine, everyone. Which photographer took this 1945 self-portrait in Hitler's bathtub? Was it A, Lee Miller, B, Madonna, or C, Wolfgang Tillmans? Mm. And I think that's the final question of the round. So uh, once you've done that, everyone submit 
I think it's called hand in your questions mm -hmm. on top hat. And then we'll wait like a minute. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll like finish the deck. And we'll yes. Oh. But yeah, we'll just wait like a minute or something. Yes. Yeah, yeah so we'll wait. Yeah, I'm, ju I'm just giving you some time to do that and then I'll go through the answers. Do you want to go back through the questions? Yeah, I think we should. Should we go? Yeah. Okay. Really just very quickly go back through the questions for you all if you missed any. So which artist cut their ear off before handing it to a lady as a gift? Was it Van Gogh, Orlan, or Caravaggio? Um, the Mexican om communist artist who dressed as a man in her youth, was it Frida Kahlo, Karl Marx, or Rosa Luxemburg? Uh, the person who dipped a chicken in paint and sent it to the emperor, was it Banksy, Joseph Boyce, or Hokusai? Um, the woman artist who wore trousers, was it Rosa Bonheur, Marina Abramovich, or Anna Pavlova? Frank Bowling, um, when did he become an RA? And I can't see the first two options for this, so hopefully they appear on the screen for you all. Uh, the surrealist traveling from Spain to Paris, was it Da Vinci, Warhol, or Dali? Um, the artist that removed the painting of Hylas and the Nymphs, was it Sonia Boyce, Mona Hatoum, or Kimchi? And in 1988, which couple walked the length of China's Great Wall? Marina Abramovich and Ule, Picasso and Kuklova, or Paul and Stella McCartney? And the photographer, was it Lee Miller, Madonna, or Wolfgang Tillmans? And I'll just give you another few seconds and then we'll go through the answers. Yes, hand in. And just let us know when you've handed in in the group chat. It is very odd not doing it physically. Yeah, it feels really like unpersonal. Yeah. <laughs> just like talking to a black circle. It's practice for my future career as a radio host. But that's fun. You get to like be alone in a room with big headphones. Or a combo. Okay, <laughs> I think we're ready for the answer. Let's go. So first, we need Caroline to oh, end the it? test and hand it back. Okay, I'll just. Uh, wait for Caroline to end the test and I can tell you the answers properly and in full. Um, just some technical issues just there, as usual. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're just getting stuff sorted behind the scenes. Is the test ended for everyone? If you could just give us a quick message. Yeah, I'm trying to think of any jokes I have. Talk about your favorite artwork, John. Yeah, there you go. Talk about why you wrote this down. My my favorite artwork is oh my god, I don't know. It doesn't have to be one. The last exhibition you went to and you liked or the last the exhibition I went to. Okay, I can remember that because it was actually at Manchester Art Gallery and I went to see a few of my favorite paintings that room there. Mm -hmm. And um there was this fantastic installation piece all made from ceramics. And it was this fired black clay. And it's called Through a Glass Darkly. And it was basically a massive cage that you went in. And the clay was fired with a glaze that was almost luminescent. So you'd walk in and it was like being in a Victorian hall of mirrors. So you'd walk in and you'd just be surrounded by these very dark reflections of yourself. And it was all about self-reflection. It was fantastic and intense. And then I saw some very nice, like Victorian paintings of fairies instead. So yeah, it was, um, it was excellent. And there was this one painting I loved. Um, 
I can't remember, but it was, I can't remember the artist, I should say, but it was two people, um, it was a portrait of two people sitting in a waiting room um, with Manchester as a cityscape behind them. And they were talking to each other in Urdu. They had like these speech bubbles coming out and they were saying, oh, I live in uh, this area of Manchester. I live in that area of Manchester. And it was, um, I hadn't seen it before, but apparently it's been in the collection for ages. I'm so happy that galleries are open again. <laughs> Have you ever seen a real life artist in the flesh on the street and what exactly. did you do? I have not seen. Emma Thompson winked at me. <laughs> Emma Thompson winked at me. Tell that story. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I think Caroline saw Andre, Andrea Solana. Andrea Solana, and I swore at him because I didn't know what to do. And then my sister went into labour, and I was the doula. <laughs> Not there, she's back. <laughs> no, story time. Scran on Cobra. <laughs> story time to fill the uh, internet technicians working behind the scenes. I'm also on Scran on Coburn Street, and we'll just have another little, little wee brunch. And this line, she comes walking down, trundling people carrying their cases for her, and that, or like coming with her. And, um, I was just like freaking out and I was like, oh no, it's Emma, it's Emma Thompson, it's Emma Thompson, like 100%. <laughs> she was there. Yeah, it really was. And I was like, it's Emma Thompson, no, Fiona, Fiona, it's Emma Thompson. And like, she sees me looking at her going, <gasps> like this. And, um, and then she like looked at, she looked, looked me, looked me. And um, <laughs> Fiona's like, look at the camera, <laughs> look me in the eyes. Like she looked at me, she recognized, she could see me like freaking out. I was like this, she went, <laughs> and like grinned and then went, and then she got a mark, canvas mask out of her pocket, put it on her face and then like carried on walking. And I was just like, and I, I was just like eat lunch. The was screen. Like, well, that's it. Yeah, well. <laughs> that was great. Okay. Yeah, that's that on that. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do the answers for that round. Everyone should have had the test handed back by now. Thank you, Okay, so we're thinking a lot of people are getting their test back. If not, don't worry, it will come back. I'll just really quickly run through the answers so we can move on to the next round. So Van Gogh is the person who cut their ear off. Less iconic and more horrifying, one of Van Gogh's um, fights with Paul Galgan saw him cut off the ear and give it to a local sex worker as a gift. Yeah, not, not the nicest thing anyone's ever done. Oh, that's understating it. Um, Frida Kahlo. Frida constantly rejected idealised and Western standards of beauty, which may be why she dressed as a man in her youth. Um, she said, I used to think I was the strangest person in the world, but then thought, there are so many people in the world. There must be someone just like me who feels bizarre and flawed in the same ways I do. I would imagine her and imagine that she must be out there thinking of me too. I also really like this quote of uh, when she went to Paris and she called um, all the artists who spoke of revolution but never did anything. She called them little Parisian B words. <laughs> Um, the person who dipped a chicken in some orange paint was Hokusai. He was known for the Great Wave and had at least 30 different names throughout his long life. Rosa Bonheur um, is very famous for painting horses and lions and sheep and lots of amazing pictures of animals. As a woman, it was difficult to pursue art as anything more than a hobby in her time, never mind become internationally renowned. Um, yeah, she's really worth checking out and she became super famous and successful in her own time. It wasn't even like a survey course rediscovering her. She, she killed it, man. Um, Frank Bowling became an RA in 2005. So from them setting up, it only took them 179 years to have a black artist. So that's good. I don't think they've had too many since. <laughs> Um, Salvador Dali, the less said about him, the better, is the person who took the cabbages from Spain to Paris or the other way around. Um, Sonia Boyce is amazing, and she's the person who took down the Hylas and the Nymphs pre Raphaelite painting from Manchester Art Gallery, and she will be the first black woman to represent Britain at the Venice Biennale. That's meant to be this year, it's happening next year. Mm -hmm. If you can afford to go, somehow go. <laughs> Marina Abramovich and Ule were the artist couple who uh, walked the Great Wall of China together. Um, their collaborations and Marina's individual work revolutionized what performance art could be. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend. Um, I've just seen in the chat that Banksy is the art attack guy. It's been disproven, so be careful. 
um, Lee Miller uh, was the photographer who took a self-portrait in Hitler's bathtub. She was a journalist, she was a photographer, a writer and a model for Vogue. And um, she took the photo after accessing Hitler's apartment in the days after his suicide, which caused a massive stir and a lot of controversy at the time. I think that's um, the final answer. And we're moving on to, is it Annie to go? Yes. The devil's in the details with Annie. So see you soon. Stay safe. Hello everyone, I'm Annie. I am the secretary of the History of Art Society. Um, <laughs> so for the, my round, we are, it's called The Devils in the Details. Um, I'm gonna give you a small snippet of a painting and all you have to do is guess the artist and the name of the painting. I know some of them might be recognizable, but we'll see. Are we ready to start the? Uh, yeah. yeah, okay, cool. So, first question, who painted this and what is it called? Um, option A, Raphael, Transfiguration. B, Michelangelo, The Creation of Adam. Or C, Caravaggio, Supper at Emmaus. All good? Cool. Um, second question. Um, again same question throughout but is this painting one gris composition in black and white george brack the bird or pablo picasso guernica okay three is this snippet from leonardo da vinci's mona lisa Vermeer's Girl with the Pearl Earring, or C, George Gower, the um, Armada Portrait? I feel like these questions are so quick. Just They're just, just we'll go through them but again. it's fine. So don't worry. A fun, quick round for everyone. Okay, is this from Richard Hamilton, Exterior 2, Edward Hopper, Summertime, or David Hockney, A Bigger Splash? Okay. Oh, I've lost track of... That's okay. It, the the question, all the questions are written in top hats, so. Okay. Is this Diego Velasquez, Las Meninas, Rembrandt, The Flight into Egypt, or Franz Howe's Family Group in a Landscape? Is this from Paul Cezanne, Luncheon on the Grass, George Surat, A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grand Jatte? Or Camille Pissarro. <laughs> Claire's laughing at me for my pronunciation. <laughs> Grand Jet. <laughs> Camille Pissarro, Harvest the Aran Aranne? Aragne? Aranje. I <laughs> anyway, okay. And the last question. Um, is this from Peter Bruegel Musical Allegory? Hieronymus Bosch, Garden of Earthly Delights. Or Salvador Dali, The Dream. <laughs> cool. Talk about your favorite art piece while people put their questions in. And okay. Then once they're done, say hand in. Okay. So, um, yeah, just hand in your answers. Um, should I go through the questions really quickly? Yeah. As well? Okay. I'm going to. The pictures for you. Do I have to scroll through them? Just yeah. click the back arrow. It should work. Click the left arrow. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we've gone too many. There we go. Okay. So we've got, is this A, Raphael Transfiguration, B, Michelangelo, The Creation of Adam, C, Caravaggio, Suffer at a Mouse? Um, okay. Second question was, Juan Gris, Composition in Black and White, George Brack, The Bird, or Pablo Picasso, Guernica? Is this Leonardo da Vinci, Mona Lisa, Vermeer, Girl with a Pearl Earring, or George Gower, The Armada Portrait? Is this Richard Hamilton, Exterior 2, Edward Hopper, Summertime, or David Hockney, A Bigger Splash? Is this Diego Velasquez, La Meninas, Rembrandt, The Flight into Egypt, or Franz Howe, Family Group in a Landscape? Is this Paul Cezanne, Luncheon on the Grass, George Surat, 
a Sunday afternoon on the island of La Granja. <laughs> or Camille, Camille Pizarro, Harvester Aranier. Is this Peter Bruegel, Musical Allegory, Hieronymus Bosch, Garden of Earthly Delight, or Salvador Dali, The Dream? All right, so there are the questions done. Um, hand them in on top, Pat. Um, we'll give you a few minutes to do that. Who is the most famous person that you've ever seen on the street? And what did you do? I think I saw Andrew Lloyd Webber on the street <gasps> once. Really? Oh. Yeah, in London. <laughs> I should have done, but I think I was about eight. So yeah, no, I didn't do that. Um, no, I haven't met that many famous people. Not that I remember. What about best, best exhibition? Oh, best exhibition I've been to. Um, I went to Jupiter Artland which is just outside of Edinburgh. Um, if you can visit, you really should do. It's a, it's like a big park foresty area and they have um, sculptures and installations. And yeah, it's really, it's really cool. Um, I think you can get the bus there, but the only thing is that it's only open until the end of September. Um, so only open in the summer. So if you're a fresher, like that would be a great thing to do maybe with some of your friends that you meet. It'd be, it's just a really nice day out. They have, who do they have in Jupiter Artland, Clem? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ian Hamilton, probably Ian Hamilton. They have Anthony Gormley. Pieces, yeah, Alan yeah. Capra. Alan Capra. Oh. Um, Anish Kapoor has an installation there, but it's, it's really, it's really great. Yeah, so how is, is Top Hat working good? Uh, yeah, that's yeah, right. That that's all good. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, all good. Uh, I think tell people to hand it in again. Yeah, so hand it in now and we're going to end the top hat quiz. Does that introduce Clem? Yeah, so next up we've got Clem and her round. Are you, Are you doing dance? Okay. Oh! I'm done. Sorry. Answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, okay. okay, answers. Okay, the first question was Michelangelo, the creation of Adam. Quite a well-known painting, but important, you know. Okay, the second was Pablo Picasso Guernica and from 1937. The detail that I chose was this face in the middle, middle right section. Very cool painting. Um, the answer for question three was Vermeer girl with a pearl earring um, from her eyes. I thought that'd be quite an interesting one because I don't know, like eyes, do they vary that much in paintings from around then? I don't know. The eyes are the window of the soul. <laughs> the eyes are the window, it's the soul. If you have eyes. If you have eyes, yeah. <laughs> Um, so question number four, the answer was David Hockney, a bigger splash, um, from the, like the patio door area. Um, I absolutely love this painting. I think the color scheme is beautiful. Um, really, really just kind of symbolic of the, the time, the movement. Anyway. Um, so I think this was the fifth question, maybe. Um, this is from Velasquez La Meninas. Um, also, I feel like I've just chosen my favorite paintings for this round. Um, I absolutely love this. I think the level of detail and the reflections um, are great. Um, yeah, I'm sure you'll study this in first year. Um, so this one was from Surat, um, Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jatte. <laughs> I'm being laughed at. Surat. Surat. I'm being laughed at by someone who's French at the moment. Um, that's fine. We're just going to move on. Um, I'm bad at accents. We know this. Um, okay. Last one from my absolute favourite painting ever. Hieronymus Bosch, The Garden of Earthly Delight. Um, the detail I choose. George's favourite as well? Amazing. The detail I chose was from the hell section of the painting. And you can search up on YouTube Hieronymus Bosch, like butt music or something, and people have actually found out what 
how the musical notes, how they play into a piece. And I mean, it's crazy. It really like is the vibe of the whole painting. But yeah, so that's my round. Um, are we good to move on to Clem's? Yeah, so let me introduce Clem to the, to the stage. Okay. Hi. Can you all see me? You okay. Um, I'm Clem. I'm the social sec secretary, and I have a quote round. It's there's only five quotes. I didn't want to make it too long, and you have two options. Um. So everyone, can I take it off? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Go to bed. Unplug it. <laughs> oh wait. There you go. You good? Uh, Run with the back quick quote. announcement for everyone. Um. <laughs> Quick announcement for everyone. Um, so on top hat, it says there's a test code that you need to put in. It's out of focus. Can you hold this up, Clem? Yeah. So the code is, is it a Y? Y-T-C-R-3. Y-T-C-R-3 is the code to get your top hat test. It. Okay. Yeah. So Y-T-C-R-3. Yeah. So like YouTube... Caroline Robinson three. Um, sorry, that was the first thing I could think of. It says students enter the above code into top, top hat test now. Yeah. This is the first time we've used top hat besides just like testing it amongst ourselves. So yeah. I'm really sorry if you haven't gotten your results back or it's being weird. Um, this is just what we have to deal with. So I hope it's working for you. Try to put this in. Um, but yeah, okay. We're gonna start the next um, who said that? You should be able to see the who said that round. Okay, yeah. Clem, go for it. Yeah, so the who said that round is just quotes. Um, it's not going to be very long, five quotes. And I give you two options for each quote. So the first one, I think it's a pretty famous quote. It says, every child is an artist. Who do you think said that? Is it Picasso? Is it Kusama? You know, is it Pablo? Is it... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I dressed up. Uh, I dressed up as her for Halloween actually. That's such a good costume. But no one got it. They thought I was strawberry shortcake because of the wig. <laughs> um, like I mean, I thought it was a good costume, but apparently not. So, yeah. So every child is an artist, Picasso or Kusama. I'm gonna move on to the second quote. Um, I saw the angel in the marble and carved until I set him free. Who do we think said that? Michelangelo or Rodin? Rodin? Who do you think said that? <laughs> Rodin. Rodin. <laughs> I thought it was Rodin. Yeah. Rodin. Is it Michelangelo or Auguste Rodin? Who do we think said that? To be fair, I'm looking at the pictures that I put. They look quite similar on that. Like, it could be the same person. Oh, you're if right. I'm honest, they both have, like, yeah, beards. yeah, they have you know white men with beards. Not okay, the shall I move on to the third question? Okay, uh, this one is one of my fave. It's pretty spooky. Um, I never paint dreams or nightmares. I paint my own reality. Uh, you know, you have Frida again. She's been in what like the past oh, rounds, I think, because she's a legend, all around legend. Uh, and you have Munch. His first appearance, he's pretty shy. Um, <laughs> yeah, who do you think said that? I never paint dreams or nightmares. I paint my own reality. Is it Frida or Edward? Okay, I think I'm gonna move on to the fourth. Okay. Um, this one's also pretty fun. This one actually I know of because I studied it in lectures. So they show us this quote. Uh, is it so it says show me an angel and i'll paint you one do we think it's Courbet? sorry <laughs> is there anything Courbet or raphael who said that um yeah you'll probably study you'll hear of this quote in your second year or something that's when i heard it and uh if top hat isn't working for you just uh maybe find a pen and paper or yeah your notes up in your phone and write the questions down we'll give you the answers later yeah, if top hat doesn't work right now, you know, you can use your phone or, or paper. And like, like a real quiz. Yeah, like a real quiz. And we go through all the answers in the end. So, okay, last one. 
I like to confuse people. Last one, my friends didn't get, but that's fine. Maybe you will. Uh, so, I didn't have any interest in traditional art. Is it Cindy Sherman or Jeff Koons? Jeff Koons again. Yeah. We really, we honestly, we... More on him tomorrow. Oh yeah, there's gonna be more on him tomorrow. We give him too much attention. He doesn't okay. deserve it. Um, <laughs> so I didn't have any interest in traditional art. Do you think it's Cindy, Lebron Legend, or Jeff Koons? Okay. Um, so don't go back all yeah, I'm gonna go back through all the, the quotes. So, first quote: Every child is an artist. Is it Picasso or Kusama? Could be either. Okay. Um, two. I saw an angel in the marble and carved until I set him free. <laughs> Do you think it's Michelangelo or Rodin? Is it Rodin? Is it Michelangelo? <laughs> Sorry, I keep roasting them. It's not very nice. Um, you deserve it. I don't think you do, honestly. Okay, <laughs> I don't think you deserve it. Um, third one. I never paint dreams or nightmares. I paint my own reality. Do you think it's Frida Kahlo or Edward Munch? Is it Frida? Is it Edward? Okay. You move on to the fourth one. Um... Show me an angel and I'll paint you one. We have a septic on our hands. Is it, ske not septic, skeptic, sorry. Okay, is it Courbet or, I can't speak, I'm so sorry. Is it Courbet or Raphael? Could be there. I mean, okay, fifth one. I didn't have any interest in traditional art. Do we think that's Cindy or Jeff? Shall I? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, maybe are we ready to hand in our question, like the test? Uh -huh. Or, you know, if Taps had not, not working, do you have it written down on your phone or, or paper? Yeah. We're going to hand it in. Uh, yeah, I probably don't. And the test and hand it in. So everyone hand in their test. Yeah, hand in Thank your you, test. Thank you, Clem. Round of yeah. applause. Woo! Um, and Woo! Did you go, what, did we need to be, uh, Yeah, I haven't done the answers Okay. Yet. So we're going to hand in the test and then yeah. do the answers real quick. Have y'all handed in your answers? Sorry, I put this on here. Did you ever say anything about this? Um, mm hmm? Oh, I saw one Luxembourgish artist, but he's not famous out of, outside of Luxembourg. I'm from Luxembourg. It's a pretty small country. Um, but yeah, I saw Robert Brandy. I don't think he's known outside of there, but I was like, oh my God, it's Robert Brandy. I think he's, I mean, he's fine. Yeah, he's pretty good. Oh, yeah. I have to remember that. Okay, I think we can do the answers. The answers? We can't live in New York for like years, so it's just, um, we can do the answers now. Okay, we're gonna do the answers. Okay, answer time. Um, every child is an artist, and what's fun is that there's a continuation to the quote. Every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once uh, he grows up. So, Picasso said that. Not Kusama. Picasso said it. Um, okay, maybe we're gonna move on to the second one. Um, sorry, I have to look at you. Uh, I saw the angel in the marble and carved until I set him free. It's not Rodin. It's Michelangelo. Um, yeah, no, I, sorry, it, it's Auguste Rodin. I just like to make fun of them. Oh, is that, is that actually how you say it? Rodin? Oh, oh, wait, that's why I thought it was said. Rodin. Yeah. Right? Oh, no, I'm, I'm saying Rodin to roast you on your French accent. <laughs> <laughs> wait, we're just confused. <laughs> no, sorry, it's Auguste, Auguste Rodin. No, but the fact that you're doing this in your second language and you're doing it so well is like, kind of, you should, you're absolutely allowed to roast us. <laughs> okay, so say it's Michelangelo. This one, love her. I never paint my dreams or nightmares, I paint my own reality. Yeah, it's Frida Kahlo. Her paintings are pretty spooky. Uh, yeah. I thought I, I, I put Mooch in there to like throw you off because of the scream. It's also pretty scary, but it's Frida. Um, okay, is that the, yeah, that's the fourth one. Show me an angel and I'll paint you one. It's, it's Colbert. Um, 
he was like, oh, why would I paint an angel? I've never seen one. You know, what's the point? Um, yeah, last one. I didn't have any interest in traditional art. It's Cindy. Jeff, no, it's Cindy. Mm -hmm. We love Cindy. Um, yeah, have you? I think so. Uh, okay, tell me your favorite uh, art piece. My, of uh, like ever? Uh -huh. Okay, so hopefully you've heard all the answers and you were able to see how you did. Um, yeah, I should talk about my favorite artwork. I'm not sure, but recently I, I was in Cambridge and I went to the Kettle Yard Gallery, mm -hmm. which is sick, and I saw a retrospective of Linder. I never heard of her, but she's a really cool, like, photo montage artist who did performance art, was in a punk band, all about legend, and the exhibition is called Linderism. Mm. It's really cool. And yeah, just a, pho a photograph and photographer, not a photograph. Mm -hmm. um, it was really cool. I don't know if she's my fave, but I'd never heard of her and she's worth looking up, so. Linder, you say? Hmm? Linder? Linder, yeah, L-I. And D E R. She's really cool. Okay, I think that's me, right? Uh, is that me? Are we ready? Okay. Yeah, I'll come in. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Clem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was the last round, everybody. Hey. So that was the last round of the quiz. So now we'll like talk a bit and um, hang out. Hi, it's me, Cindy Sherman. How are you all doing? <laughs> This is our lovely president. Oh, we should probably share that. This is our lovely president of the History of Art Society. And I'm Fiona, the treasurer. You can sit forward. I think, uh, yeah, we look good. No, I wanted to see the hat. I wanted yeah. to see the wig. I okay. Want, <laughs> everyone needs to appreciate. You actually do look like Cindy Sherman. It's a Dolly Parton fantasy. Working yeah. nine to five. What a week. <laughs> okay. I'm going to so, stop before we get Thank you so much for coming to this event. Um, if you want to stay and chat with us, you're welcome to. Um, this was really fun. If Top Hat didn't work, who cares? There's no prize. You all won for coming. I hope you learned something. If you, if you managed to listen to us speak and you got this far into it, I say you, yeah. you definitely won. Like all the different accents. It was great. Um, also, please come to our event tomorrow, Drunk Art History. There won't be any dumb app to deal with. It'll just be us blabbering and being drunk. So mm -hmm. that'll be great. Um, so that's... Uh, you don't have to drink. You do what you do. But uh, it'll do, but also be what we do is here artists. again. It'll be here again tomorrow, 8.30 p.m. Find more info on our website and our Facebook. Hit us up. Um, Instagram. Instagram, Twitter, etc. cetera. Mm -hmm. um, There's a TikTok that we're setting up. Oh, I did start a TikTok. There's no videos on it. Oh. Tell us if you want us to make TikToks. Put it in the description. Yeah, with this, with this wig, honestly, the, the Dolly Parton, yeah. Cindy Sherman fantasy. Don't you just like put makeup on and then make 10 TikToks at 2 a.m.? That's what I like to do. Oh my god. I feel like one of the, uh, the dwarves from Lord of the Rings. The you mean the elves? No, the... the, the, the... With the beard. Yeah. What's oh, I think the, el about? the elves are all like blonde. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to say? Uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to seeing you. I'm gonna put the beard down. Okay, this time. <laughs> I think that. um maybe let's do a little like socializing thing in the chat. If people, mm -hmm. if you want to like show us your camera, like un like show us your camera and unmute yourself, I'm gonna stop streaming on YouTube and then we can have like a little chat. So does that sound fun? We will be here. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna stop streaming live. Hi YouTube. Bye. 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 I'm looking at the wrong camera there.